Hi, my name is Paula Nadelstern, and this is Kaleidoscopic 37 uh, Pseudosymmetry. And this particular quilt all began because I really wanted to showcase a fabric I had designed. Most of the quilt fabrics in this quilt were designs of mine over the past 10-12 uh, years from Benner Tex collections. But this fabric actually really intrigued me myself. It is a um, it's a, it's a scribble looking fabric that has a bilateral symmetry to it and I really wanted to show that. Someone has come over to me at market and, and uh, told me how nice they like my, um, my sewing skills, my, my needlework, my, the, the thread work, but actually thinking that that was thread work. But this is actually fabric and it's two pieces of that fabric sewn together to create new kaleidoscopic or bilaterally symmetrical um, mirror images that never existed before. I started by making the different kaleidoscopes and each one has multiple um, 5, 10, 12, 16 different pieces of that yellow scribble fabric coming out and really exploding with other fabrics interrupting. It's called pseudosymmetry because this is not really true symmetry that you would see in a kaleidoscope but it's kind of a wannabe and it looks, it gives the impression of being um, symmetrical and kaleidoscopic. And so um, then I wanted to extend the lines, really play with those lines, and I wasn't sure how I could piece them in, and I always piece everything, and I didn't want to applique it because, you know, that would be against the rules. And then I remembered, oh, that's right, I made up the rules. I can break the rules. I can change it. So actually, many of these long lines, like there's a seam over here, which finishes up that kaleidoscope and a little bit of this one here. So there's a seam right there. And then I've appliqued this onto, you know, continued it. So I either um, found exactly the portion in the, this fabric times two coming out, like, coming out like that. It's one of the first times I ever um, did any machine quilting. I had a, uh, I'm, not, I'm a hand quilter and I actually did do a little bit of machine quilting sort of stuffing and not knowing what I was doing and I've done some machine quilting along all of those lines and then a black on black stitch around the background. So I'm really hoping that it gives a very late effect, the sense that um, the, the different colors are coming forward and all of the black from the fabrics, the various fabrics, recede and become one common ground. On the back of each of my quilt, quilts, I put my left hand, I'm very strong lefty, I love being a lefty, and I create a left hand out of ultra suede and I embellish. Each one is unique and very soon I will be making the hand for my 39th kaleidoscopic quilt in the series.